what's up YouTube this is Genesis 121 uh, I'm just doing a quick little update for you guys so wanted to uh, show you guys my quarantine tank that I had set up here recently um, we got a 10 gallon uh, kit aquarium kit that I bought from Walmart and I believe it was 30 bucks and included a 10 gallon tank a uh, internal filter which you see there right there um, it came with the hood with the LED lights and uh, went in to complete this I went and bought a heater a hang on the back filter uh, some PVC piping I uh, have a pump in there a uh, thermometer and a fan so pretty simple setup you know the uh, tank was cycled with uh, one of my favorite products this uh, C Chem stability I've always had great success with that so um, doing uh, been doing great with that you know and also forgot the uh, always put the uh, C Chem ammonia alert in there uh, great addition to have in a quarantine tank as well so uh, usually uh, my process for quarantining is I'll put the fish in there and I will do a 14 day minimum Coopermine um medicated treatment on the fish and usually that's what i'll do just to eradicate any uh parasites that may come in on that fish whether i see them or not i just i'm usually proactive about that but uh, um <clears throat> running into a little dilemma right now uh because i'm going to be going out of town on a uh, business related work and um I'll be out of town for two weeks so having to make a decision about pulling these guys out of quarantine early and putting them into the display tank and my reasoning for that is that this uh, tank is less stable than my uh, display tank and my display tank I'll be able to monitor and it'll just be easier for the family to uh, watch and take care of while I'm gone versus having both tanks so uh, I think I'm gonna pull these guys out of here and just take my chances and uh, you know they've been healthy uh, I had them at the LFS for a week uh, they were sitting up there in the tank I was monitoring them no signs of ick anything like that they were doing great and then uh, I've had them in here and um, same thing you know they've been healthy so, uh, like I said, I'm going to roll the dice on this. Hopefully it doesn't introduce ick into the display tank and nothing catastrophic happens while I'm gone. So, uh. so wind up picking up a few things for the tank. Um, got a Neptune's Apex Junior. Uh, with that, I also added another uh, PC4 um, and a pH probe just so I can have the bare minimums as far as uh, monitoring this tank. I also got a ice cap battery backup system for the tank just in case the power goes out again um, that'll automatically kick in and also got a, an IR camera so I can be able to view the tank while I'm gone so um, definitely did all this uh, with the intentions of just being able to monitor the tank and to be able to uh, assist uh, my family, if you know, with them maintaining the tank while I'm gone, and uh, <clears throat> just realized that this was something that needed to get done with the amount of money that you put into your tank, um, the ability to be able to monitor it or make sure that all the parameters are right is invaluable. So, um, didn't take much, you know the. Uh, junior apex uh, junior doesn't cost that much and like I said it provides you with the uh, basic essentials needed for monitoring your tank but um, thank you guys for watching um, if you haven't already like subscribe and uh, drop a comment down below if you have any questions I will be giving you guys an update once I get back in town and uh, thank you for watching